The search landscape is undergoing a big transformation. Generative engines like ChatGPT and Claude are gaining popularity for their ability to provide conversational and highly specific answers to user queries. So this raises an interesting question. Will AI search overtake Google, the long-standing giant of traditional search? The short answer, probably not. But let's explore the long answer and the advantages of generative engines and the many reasons why Google still may maintain its dominance. Generative engines powered by large language models and advanced AI algorithms offer a more natural and intuitive search experience. So you can ask questions in a conversational manner, just as you would when talking to another person. You could ask a generative engine to find an upbeat song from the 1980s with a fast tempo, perfect for a dance party. I looked that up last night. The AI would then provide a specific song recommendation based on your criteria, rather than simply listing pages that mention upbeat songs from the 80s. Despite being fairly new to the search game, generative engines have some key advantages. Natural language processing. Generative engines can understand and respond to very complex queries, making the search experience more human-like and efficient. You could ask, what are some good beginner-friendly hiking trails near me that have waterfalls and also allow dogs? The AI would comprehend all the little intricacies of your query and provide tailored recommendations. Precise answers. Instead of showing you a list of web pages that might contain the answer, making you do a little bit more digging, generative engines try to provide the exact information you're looking for, saving you both time and effort. If you asked, how do I change a flat tire on a 2015 Toyota Camry, the AI would give you step-by-step -step instructions rather than just pointing you to articles or videos that may be helpful. Contextual understanding. AI-powered search can take into account the context and intent behind a query, delivering more personalized results. So if you asked, what's the best Italian restaurant for a business lunch, the AI might consider the formality of a business setting in making its recommendation. Continuous learning. As generative engines interact with people and process large amounts of data, they keep learning and improving to provide more accurate and helpful responses. The more often people use these platforms, the more data gets gathered and the better they become in understanding and addressing complex queries. So. Generative engines do have their advantages, but so does Google. It's still a formidable force in search, and there are several reasons why they may continue to dominate. First, established brand and user base. With over 90% of the global search market share, Google has a massive loyal base and a big head start. Many people, myself included, are accustomed to using Google for their search needs, and changing longtime habits can be difficult. Integration of AI and traditional search. Google is actively incorporating AI technologies such as BERT and MUM into its search algorithms. This allows Google to understand natural language queries better and provide more relevant results, blurring the line between traditional search and AI-powered search. And I can't skip the literal AI overviews that are appearing in Google search. Using its Gemini model, a portion of Google search queries become questions for a generative engine to answer. You don't even have to break the habit of using Google search as normal. Vast index in resources. Google has spent decades and decades building an extensive index of web pages and collecting data on user behavior. This wealth of information gives Google a significant advantage in delivering comprehensive and accurate search results. Ecosystem of services. Google offers a wide range of integrated services such as Gmail, Google Maps, and Google Docs. All of these things keep folks within the Google ecosystem and provide additional data points for improving search results. Not to mention these services can give users access to Google's AI tools. So as AI continues to evolve, it's likely that we'll see more overlap between traditional search and generative engines. Google and other search providers will increasingly incorporate AI capabilities to provide more conversational and precise answers, while generative engines will work on expanding their knowledge bases and improving their ability to handle complex queries. While generative engines offer lots and lots of exciting possibilities for the future of search. They likely won't overtake Google in the near future. 
Google's established brand, abundance of resources, and integration of AI position it well to adapt and to continue its dominance in the marketplace. However, as AI search continues to advance, we can expect the search landscape to become more diverse with people having access to many different powerful tools to help them find the information they need. One likely outcome in the near future is that the two different approaches to search will become more alike. AI search engines need to build a user base, develop intuitive interfaces, and broaden their ecosystem to make them more useful for a wider range of tasks. Meanwhile, traditional search engines like Google will continue to work on incorporating natural language processing and other AI-powered features to provide the conversational and precise results that people are beginning to expect. If you want to keep learning about AI and search and many other digital marketing topics that impact you, hit that beautiful subscribe button and like this video. We hope you liked what you learned today and we'll see you soon.